What's up guys, welcome to another episode of Anti-Birth. Today I'm going to be showing you how to get essentially infinite angel rooms and devil rooms. I sp I've started a bit, um, I've started with a bit of things, I, I suppose. But the most important things that I have here are Goat Head and Jacob's Ladder. So basically, I'm going to start this on the next floor so that you know exactly my process and all this. So Goat Head, as you know, is an item that guarantees you a devil room every single floor. Jacob's Ladder is an anti-birth item that spawns a ladder at the start, at the starting floor or at the starting room of every floor. And that ladder is guaranteed to take you to an angel room. The thing is, to get infinite angel room, angel deals and devil deals, you need to get them in a certain order, essentially every single floor. Because by going into the angel room, I've already been in the post boss room, which can either be an angel room or a devil room. In most circumstances, you can't get both. So, here I'm going to tell you how to essentially lock um, how to lock in angel rooms and devil rooms. So I'm just going to go to the boss here. I guess I'll take this. I'm going to go to the next floor to show you what you're supposed to do. So first of all, let me explain how to get this set. I think the best way to do this is to find Goat Head not in a devil deal and then try to take, so you have to find it early on and then you have to hope that you get lots of angel deals, maybe get some key pieces and then you need to, you need to find an angel deal that has Jacob's Ladder in it because after that the the ladder will spawn on every floor. Once you do that, you need to follow exactly what I do for the first floor at least, and basically every subsequent floor. So once you get Jacob's Ladder, don't go in it. What you're looking for is the boss room now. Okay, so you found the boss room, and what you're hoping here, or what you're hoping for here, oh, whoops, is a devil deal. That's what you need. Oh sweet, it gave me one. All right, and now you have to really hope that there's an actual deal, and there is. All right. So now you can see that you've locked in devil deals. That doesn't really matter. But if you go to the starting floor, yes, there is a tinder rock there. If you go back to the starting floor, you'll see that Jacob's ladder is still here. And you can even start to get the key pieces now. Just by getting this. Nothing you do will ever affect your devil deal chance again. So you're pretty much set for life. Infinite angel rooms and devil deals. So watch, we'll go to the next floor. And you'll see what I'm talking about. You see the angel room there. But you don't go to it. You need to go to the devil deal first. Which is at the boss room. Again, I can't stress this enough. For this to work, you need to go to the boss room first. Because that's how you... Really? And he didn't even die. There you go. See here, you have your angel room. You go all the way back. You go up here, you get your angel room. Did I mix those up? I think I did. Um, either way, that's pretty much all there is to it. It's a rare combination anyways, but if you do happen to get it somehow, um, what I'm talking about by the way is Jacob's Ladder and Goat Head. 
but if you do get both of them, then that's how you get infinite angel rooms and devil rooms. So I'll demonstrate it one more time, just for you to be absolutely sure. That would be Pastoral Candle that we just picked up, by the way. That's something you have to look up on the wiki for yourself. Oh, this is Necropolis too, actually. So for this, you need to choose if you want Angel Room or Devil Room. I'm gonna take Angel, and we get nothing. Except another fight. Okay, so one more time. Again, this is what you need. You need Goat Head and you need Jacob's Ladder. You have to find Goat Head somewhere that's not a devil that's not a devil deal. You need to find Jacob's Ladder somewhere in the preceding angel deals that you'll get. You skip Jacob's Ladder, or you skip going into it, until you find the boss. You take your Devil Deal, whatever it may be, and you go all the way back. And you take your Angel Deal. Alright, that's pretty much it. Let me know if you want to see any other guides like this. I'll see if there's anything else that I can find for this game, but Repentance is going to be coming out probably summer, so I'll just be on that instead, making videos. Anyways, that's it for this guide. I'll see you all later.